Hello everyone, Brandon here, and I'm here to talk about teams in Superlist. Superlist was created to be this combination of your, your personal and your, your work tasks, and uh, teams is a part of how we expect you know companies and, and organizations and even households to, uh, to utilize Superlist to kind of segment those pieces. When we talked to a ton of users in the early days of Superlist, we heard a lot about how individuals felt kind of uncomfortable or they didn't feel like they could put their personal tasks inside of their team project management tools. Now, this meant that uh, they either didn't, uh, which means they would fall off the tool uh, because there's a ton of things they have to do, or meant they would take kind of individual pieces from those tools, move them to their personal task managers, which also led to people falling off the team tool to which you would then have just project managers kind of solo using these tools and pretending everyone was still there. Uh, so you'll notice a couple things that are a little different of how we handle these uh, these teams within Superlist. So first, there's not a ton of like big workspace separation. So we're not segmenting and swapping and moving things within these big workspaces and forcing you into one or the other. The other you'll notice is that you're not kind of entering a team's uh, you know, a team's uh, task manager or a team's project manager, they're kind of entering your world here, which means that you can take your own personal tasks with you if you ever go. Um, but it also means that you can kind of segment and, and plan things a little better, you know, as a whole, because we, you know, our life is, 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 is a lot of things about our lives. Uh, let's take a look down here at the, the kind of uh, person or the team switcher here. Um, so you can see these little avatars down here, and these are the, the teams I have. I have my personal, everyone has their personal. Uh, this is the default uh, kind of team that each person has uh, that, uh, you know, where, where lists will go by default, tasks will go by default. So I have my freelance, don't use that too much anymore, and I have my Superlist team, which is how we collaborate on everything here at Superlist. Uh, if it's the weekend and I don't really want to see kind of my work stuff here, I can easily toggle off Superlist, which is a nice thing. So I can see everything together when I need it and toggle it off when I don't. And I can also go ahead and toggle off my personal list. This list was currently in my personal. And uh, so you'll see that it kind of disappears here as well. So it's a great way to be able to kind of segment these things and, uh, and really make sure that my, uh, you know, I'm seeing the things I want to see and only the things I want to see so I don't kind of stress my own life out here. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new team. So I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to go ahead and hit new team. And I'm going to call this super team. Uh, so ZZ's creating a list. I just hit the new button, typed a name, hit enter. Boom. I have a team created. I can add my own avatar, but we kind of give you this cool little squiggly one. I can also go ahead and kind of add a, a cover image if I want, either from my computer or from this Unsplash integration. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, Choose this like cool dog. Uh, he's a super, super dog. Um, <laughs> we, in addition to that, this, you'll see that the team page is uh, currently split between kind of two sections, your members and your lists. Uh, searching members is as easy as either adding them through their emails or if you're already connected with them in Superlist elsewhere, you can just type their name. So I have Cameron here. I'm gonna add Cameron and Cameron is now part of my Superlist team the second he accepts my invite. So that means anything I share with a Superlist team or the super team, uh, Cameron will, will have access to as well. And I can also kind of reference him within those lists. Um, we have our list section here. This is where all the lists that will be um, within, uh, within your super team will live. Now, super, uh, no, lists and teams can be both private or shared with the whole team or shared with just some of your team. And so uh, just because you create a list in here doesn't mean that it has to be shared with everyone. And that's a, that's a big important thing, right? There's some lists that you know, you're just not ready to, to be shared with people or maybe you will never wanna share it, but it is still work related. So you would love to be able to kind of keep it segmented within this team as a whole. I can go ahead and create a new list. Uh, for my first list, I can do it here. Subsequently, I'll do it here, but I'll just go ahead and create a new list. This is a list, fantastic. And uh, just for the sake of getting some content in here, I'm just going to like use our, our fantastic make plug in here, just so that we have some sort of content in here. If you're on Pro, you get access to our ability to just type a, uh, a command and have it create a list for you that you can then modify or change later. Uh, I have my my uh, my share section up here. You'll see that this says private in super team. So this is part of the super team, but it's private specifically to me. I can go ahead and toggle this open. You'll see the, the kind of switcher here that shows me what that is. And I can share this with my super team. Great. And now that is shared in super team. So it's both in my super team 
and shared with everyone within that organization. Now you don't have to create a, a list from a team specifically. So I can come back over here to my teams. I can say, hey, we already did creating a team, inviting a members. And now we're talking a little about creating lists and sharing them. I can come back up here and use my, my switcher up here to change from personal to freelance to super list to super team. And uh, that is now currently shared uh, or currently private within my super team. Fantastic. Uh, that means if I come back down here and I start hiding super team, I can hide those uh, that list that I had created. I can also come back to my super team, check out all the lists I have. I can add some to my sidebar here if I want uh, by starring them. And I can toggle off maybe everything except my super team so I can be left with just the things I want to work on at this exact moment. Cool. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's Teams as it currently is. Um, what's next in, in Teams? Uh, you know, a ton of stuff around making it, you know, a little easier to share with the whole team, a subset of the team, or, you know, ensure that you things, things are private. So we're looking at some new organization methods. We're looking at uh, uh, talking to you and figuring out some of these workflows of, of ways that maybe you work and looking at different tools and things that we can add specifically to Teams to make that a much easier experience. Um, and then we're also looking at how to, you know, hide individual tasks and things like inbox and today and messages uh, and your task tab here um, when you toggle those toggles off as well. So that way you can have everything consolidated when you need it and everything separate when you don't. So thanks everyone so much. That was Teams. Bye. Everybody's checking boxes. Super list is on the screen. 